I am Satish Paryani, working as assistant professor in Department of Mechanical, Walchand Institute of Technology, Sholapur. Now, we are discussing the problems faced by entrepreneurs. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand the problems and their solutions what the entrepreneurs face. The contents. Here majorly we will discuss on the task delegation, choosing what to sell and the marketing strategy problems associated with entrepreneurs and their solutions. Entrepreneurs face major challenges in today's ultra competitive business world. Fortunately, contemporary times have also blessed entrepreneurs with more resources for tackling those problems than ever before. The problems can be from technical world, marketing world, human world or financial world. Now, we are discussing the fourth problem that is called task delegation. The challenge the entrepreneur face, you know, you need to delegate or outsource tasks, but it seems every time you do something gets messed up and you have to redo it anyway. As an entrepreneur, as a new startup, generally these are the problems. When, the, when there is a new startup, when the new startup or new organization which has been evolving, task collision is the biggest problem. Whether I should do all in considering manufacturing activities, considering manufacturing, if I am doing in, in the manufacturing world, whether all I should do in-house, under one roof, or whether I go for outsourcing certain tasks which I need to delegate to my suppliers or to some other outsourcing agencies. Whether HR training should I take it or whether I should go for outsourcing. Whether I need to check the bills, each and every small bills which marketing people have spent it or whether I give it to account department. We need to think on these kind of examples. Generally, if we do this kind of day-to-day -day work, our organization to cannot grow to that extent. We need to set up certain processes. We need to set up certain organization people who will doing who will be getting done this kind of work. And we need to concentrate only on the basic strategic thinking to grow our organization big decisions we need to go it but once we are engaged in small small things our mind starts shifting in that and we get messed up and we are with so many to do list now think it the problem of time management to certain extent whether it can be solved with task delegation think the answer to this is yes once we de start delegating our task, our time management issues will also getting resolved. Reason being that we are into now not day to day activities, we are into some strategic activities. We are not into day to day operations, we are into certain big operation, big thinking. To certain time management issues can be solved. Now solution of task delegation find good employees and good outsource contract help. As I told you, generally training is required. As an employee, I need certain training to get my skills groom up. If I get the same training in-house also, one time, two time, three time, I start feeling bored, bored them. So these tasks, this work contract should be done from outsource agencies. So many times the good employees are also available which can provide a good training but yes you need you need to make a feel that yes we are getting trained you might have to pay a little more for it but it's saving time and resulting earning potential more than make up for it once the employee morale is boosted it helps 
not only to improve its productivity but its productivity of organization also he starts thinking in some different way and that extra cost for training sub let us say the outsource training what we have done can help help lot to get more big profits and make up for this small training cost associated this is the example of outsource training for hr employees the same task delegation once we start in how suppose i have taken in previous slide the example of suppose we start looking at small small bills of marketing people so much time is wasted to cross check everything suppose this i given to my financial department to whom i trust to find a good employee to give give him that work what will happen i will same time i will save time my role will be only to signing and finalizing yes whether to pay pass that bill or not suppose for that one extra employee also i need to keep it up so much time i will get it that employee is helping me to get so much time for which i have that time i will utilize for taking some strategic decisions for the benefit of organization and that is far far more i can say comparatively by keeping one employee so these are few examples from both ways for in manufacturing organization a financial bill outsource outsource hr outsource same in day to day we need to take certain action and we need to delegate the task this is the biggest problem which these days are faced by generally startup employees the old big employers already know the importance of this and they start delegating but many times also whether to do it or not do it they are into this so these are the problems and probably this is a solution a simple solutions which will help us to take a better decisions and take a better profits the next big ultra specific as what you want to what you want done it will take a little more time at first but write down the detailed step listing exactly what you want your help to do don't make assumptions and don't assume your help will be able to think of themselves now after discussing the task delegation the next problem for the entrepreneur is what to sell the challenge is you know you can make a mint if you just knew what products and services to sell you have the financial aid you have the financial support but what you want to sell it you are just unaware how to pick a niche whether you want to sell a product which is selling at a high profit but a low volume or whether you want to make a product which is selling at a low profit but higher volume you need to make a decision on what you want to sell and how you are building your organization in that way it is decision of a volume game and generally low profit high volume are the companies which are generally quite ahead we need because you cannot find a, a product in the market unless you have a you can sell it unless there is some speciality some niche kind of thing in it whether then you have to be innovative in your product completely new product and which takes lot of time and which also takes lot of time market to pick up even your product is good but yes how to do so i will tell you one example golden eye technology was developed by lg electronics it was developed by certain other organization also so who sold it it was lg electronics who made a great profits so what to sell we are selling certain product or we are selling certain feature also is does matter the solution is admit that you are weak in the identified prospect and niches and delegate the task to someone who is strong in this area you don't have to hire a huge expensive marketing firm rather recruit a freelancer researcher who experience in whatever type of field you are considering entering retail e-commerce service industry publishing 
have conduct market research and create a report with suggested niches packed by potential profit margins and complete SWOT analysis where strength, weaknesses and operation threats, everything are displays. We need to be very clear in this. The next is marketing strategy. The challenge is you don't know the best way to market your products and services. Print, online, mobile, advertising, etc. You want to maximize the return on investment with efficient targeted marketing that gets resulted. And the solution is? The solution, again, if you are not adept at creating marketing plans and placing ads, it is good idea to outsource your marketing strategy. To someone who is, at this point, all you need to is core marketing plan. What marketing activities will you undertake? To motivate purchases, give your planner a budget and tell them a craft a plan that efficiently utilizes their budget to product, product, produce profits. Again, whether you will do for paper marketing, newspaper marketing we can say, or whether you go for, for radios, you go for Amazons or some e-retailers e or some TV ads. Be very clear which target customers you are utilizing. The references which are again used are from NPTEL, 10 challenges faced by entrepreneurs by Deluxe.com and the book utilizes Project Management and Control by Narendra Singh Himalaya Publication House. Thank you.